welcome back to my channel so today's video is um a video that i have not done on my channel i feel like i always say that now because i have been just coming up with new things to put on my channel um especially with this pregnancy i didn't really film anything actually i didn't film anything during my last pregnancy i think the only thing i did was our gender reveal video for my son so yeah so this is a new video on my channel and i'm so excited to be sharing it with you guys um, i'm not sure if you could tell by the title um but it is going to be a what's in my hospital bag what's in my diaper bag and then i also wanted to throw in a little postpartum um basket that i have as well so we have kind of a lot of things to talk about I'm going to try not to ramble about all of it and just really show you all the items that I've put in there um, because I don't want this to be such a long video. So without further ado, let's hop into this video. Okay, so for the first thing, I think I'm going to go ahead and talk about what's in my hospital bag and all the things that I'm packing. So um, I don't have everything together yet. I have most of it, but not everything just because... Um, like my makeup, my hair dryer, my straightener, um, curling iron, which I don't think I'm going to bring that. But all of those things I'm still using, so I won't throw those into my bag until I'm ready. So, oh, and then there's one more thing. I did order some postpartum leggings uh, from Target, so I'm waiting on those to come in. So, when those get here, I'll just add that to my bag as well. So, Anyways, I got this big double bag, and this one it came as a set, which is super cute. I love the pink and white stripe from TJ Maxx, so I was really excited to find this because it literally fits so much stuff, and they match, so how, how much cuter can it get? <laughs> anyway, so let's begin with what I have first, um, and I think I may have went a little overboard on the outfits but I remember the first time um, whenever I was in the hospital I don't feel like I packed enough clothes for me just because I wasn't prepared for how messy like nursing was gonna get and I don't know I think it's nice to have something to wear for part of the day and then at night before you go to bed just to have something a little I don't know it's cozy and clean and it just makes you feel a little bit nicer and not so yucky. So I kind of packed a little more than I would would have usually done, but I just want to be on the side of, um, I don't know, what's the word I'm looking for? Being prepared. So <laughs> anyways, all right. So this first thing I found, I believe most of this stuff is from like TJ Maxx or Marshalls. So this one is a little set it's like a little leopard print hoodie and then it comes with these pants which I thought were super cute these little joggers and then I got another set this is just a top I don't know if you guys can see it and then it comes with pants as well So very comfortable, not too hot, all the things that you want to be wearing when you've just delivered a baby. And then here's another set that I bought. And it's like another hoodie. This is striped. I don't know if you can tell, but it's like gray and white striped. And then it comes with pants. And I'm hoping that these fit me. <laughs> They're all in mediums, which was my like pre-pregnancy size. And I'm, I don't know, I feel like a large will just be too big. And I'm hoping that as I breastfeed and all of those things that I'll lose most of my weight again. So I definitely don't want these things to be too big. So that's why I got them all in mediums. Okay, the next thing I got were, or was, or is, <laughs> I don't even know how to talk. But the next thing that I got is from Target and it's this really cute like nightgown and it's pink and white striped as well. 
and it buttons up down the front so it'll be easy to nurse in which will be great because we all need the things that are easy access so there's that one and then I got another one and it's in black Let's see if I can get it pulled out so super cute very comfortable the material is so nice and I think it'll be warm and not too hot in the hospital so like I said both of those things are from Target and then I have my going home outfit which is all of this is actually from Walmart so I was glad I found these cute items from there so this is just a little zip up jacket I don't know if you guys can see it but it feels so nice and I think it was like 20 bucks so I'll definitely be able to wear it and it's longer in the back so it's going to cover my bottom <laughs> because we all know that um, you're going home with a giant pad or a large diaper so you definitely want that to be covered up as you're walking around and then I got this little long sleeve t-shirt to go underneath it and then these black little joggers. I don't know if you can see those, but these are from Walmart as well. I also ordered some more joggers for postpartum and some graphic t-shirts to wear that are long just to be comfortable in, but not wear pajamas all day every, every day. So I'm hoping that will come in soon. I did an order off of Boohoo. I don't know if you've heard of that. Um, website before but I ordered for them and it's like it's been two weeks since I ordered so it's kind of taking a long time but hopefully they all fit and I don't have to send them back okay next thing I have always wanted to have a really cute robe and so I went ahead and bit the bullet and bought this one from what's it called pink blush maternity and it's so pretty I love all the floral detail detail in here it has lace at the bottom and it also ties in the front oh here's the tie right here um and I actually it really wasn't that expensive I actually got it for 40 percent off so that's not bad I think total it was like 30 bucks so definitely can wear this after pregnancy which is great and then the next thing I have in my bag are these nursing bras so I actually saw a girl on Instagram who raved about these nursing bras and so I decided to order them myself and they are let me see if I can get them they look like this oops and they like drop down in the front so that way you can nurse and this came in a pack of like three or four I believe so there's a nude a cream and I think that's all I put in there for those two and then I also packed these as well and these are the ones that have the little um, whatever you call that the hook to unlatch in the front and they're that red material which I'm obsessed with it feels so nice um, so I put two of those in here I have I think this is like an olive color and then this one's gray and then I packed a pink one so yeah those are all from Amazon and then the next thing I threw in my bag are these postpartum underwear which in the hospital they give you those mesh underwear and then you can put a pad in um, which are great but they didn't last very long the stitching in them started to come out which I love them because they like sucked everything in but <laughs> um, I wanted to order some to have at home and just to try and see if I like these better so I actually ordered these on Amazon as well and they're pretty high-waisted I've actually been wearing them at home and they feel really nice and they come up to my bump like about halfway so I'm pretty sure they're gonna be really great coverage for after the baby so I just put two in there just in case I wanted to try those and then the next thing I have in here are these really cute <laughs> slippers aren't these adorable these will be good to walk around in, especially whenever you're going to the bathroom so you don't have to be barefoot. And I got these at Walmart as well, so that was definitely a good steal. 
Okay, I'm almost done actually. You guys, we are doing great. Um, I packed this big blanket that I bought, I think like right whenever I got pregnant and I can't remember where I got it, probably from Marshalls. Um, but it's this really pretty pink velvety looking material um, just to have over the top of my bed, um, just to be extra warm and just, I don't know, make it feel a little bit more homey. So I packed that in there as well. And then the last thing that I have in here is this nightlight. Um, so I've seen a couple people talk about this nightlight and it's from Amazon as well. I'm going to try and link all the things that I can um, if I can find the links for them. That way you guys can go and find them for yourselves as well. Um, I don't know if it's charged enough, but we can see. Okay, it is. So it lights up like this and then you can hold it down and it makes it brighter and then hold it down again and it turns it turns it off I believe yeah so it turned it off anyways so they've all said to get this because it's great for um, when the baby wakes in the night or whenever you have to nurse and then that way you don't have to turn on the big lights so I went ahead and got this to put beside the bed so we'll see how that works out and then I can use it at home so that's the perks of buying things for the hospital is you can use it at home as well. So you feel a little bit more justified in your purchases. <laughs> all right, so that's all that I have in there. And like I said, I'm gonna throw in my other essentials like makeup, hair stuff, and all that. Okay, so that one's done. All right, moving on to this one. I have some tennis shoes. These are actually from Fabletics and I have not worn them yet. Um, I forgot to like skip a month, so I had credit in there. And I thought, well, I guess I'll just go ahead and get some tennis shoes to wear. <laughs> some new ones, I guess. All right. Now, this is my toiletry bag and I'm just gonna quickly show you guys what I have in this. I won't go into like great detail about everything. But anyways, mine folds open and it has a little hanger. So this is great to hang in your bathroom, not on the cabinet, not on the floor, and it's just kind of out of the way. So the first thing I have is some scrunchies to put my hair up in. And then I have some toothpaste. I need to throw my toothbrush in, but I'm gonna wait until I need to put it in there. Some makeup remover wipes, a razor, some moisturizer, and then a lip mask because your lips get so dry being in the hospital, so I got that. Face wash, and my favorite toner. And then I'll probably throw in some um, like cotton pads so that way I can tone my face as well. Okay, let's see. And then down here I have a brush, some shampoo and conditioner, which I've never used a shampoo and conditioner before, but I've heard it's really good and it smells so nice. So if all you mamas can relate, you know that first shower is amazing. So I will be looking forward to some good smelling shampoo and conditioner. Um, I got some body wash and I actually put two in there just because um, Cord and I are gonna share. So that'll be for the both of us. And then the last thing I have is some dry shampoo. So I don't feel like I overpacked on that. Those are pretty much just all my essentials. Don't plan on getting crazy. Okay, so the next thing I got is this cute little set from Target. I'm probably gonna put it in the little bassinet where she's sleeping, um, just as a little announcement. Um, it has where you can put her name, when she was born, how much she weighs, what time, and how uh, long she is. So anyways, I thought that would be cute. The only thing that I need to remember to add is a chalk marker. So hopefully I don't forget that. All right, that's it for my hospital bag. Not too much, I think I did pretty good. 
I feel like I've got the basics in there. So put that to the side. So for her diaper bag, it's really heavy. I have this really cute bag that I ordered off of Amazon as well. The brand is Miss Fong. It has so many pockets. I love the gold detail. I love the brown, the leather, all the things. So anyways, if you guys are interested, I got this off of Amazon and I'll try to link that down below as well. Oh, it's so heavy. All right. I honestly can't remember everything that I packed in here because it's been, this bag has been packed for like, I don't know, probably four weeks now. So, all right. So the first thing I have in here at the top is a haka. I did not use this in my last pregnancy whenever, I, whenever, I'm sorry. I did not use this with my first child and I've heard really good things about this. I don't think that I'm going to need it just because I don't, I'm not counting on my milk to come in until we get home, but I'm just going to bring it in case, um, because I believe that you can do your colostrum as well. I really don't know. I'll have a nurse help me with that one, but that's in my bag. The next thing I have is a nursing cover. Oops, it's upside down. Anyways, but it's like white polka dots on there and it feels so nice so I have that in there and then I packed her some little socks and I packed quite a few outfits just because they get so dirty and I want to make sure I have enough clothes for her <clears throat> and I wanted to have the right sizes for her as well so I packed a newborn in zero to three months Sorry, I'm trying to get most of them out. I did. Okay, the first one I have is this cute little zip-up onesie. And it has little ruffles on the bottom. I thought this was so cute. We got that as a gift. The next thing I have is this gray ribbed onesie. And I'm kind of thinking this might be for her Thanksgiving picture. And hopefully I can find like a rusty colored bow to put on top because I do not have a Thanksgiving outfit and I'm not about to go spend more money on clothes so hopefully that will work the next thing I have is another sleeper I'm all about the sleepers whatever is comfortable and then I have this one Oh, I forgot I have this white one. The white one would be pretty with a rust color headband as well. They look pretty wrinkly. <laughs> Oops. All right, and then I think the last outfit I have is this one. Just some simple little sleepers. I don't know, that's one, two, three, four, five. That's six outfits. I think that should be enough. I don't know. I may pack more just in case. We shall see. All right. And then the other things that I packed in here are some blankets. This will probably probably be what we wrap her in to come home with. Um, just because it's going to be a little chilly. So this is a little bit more heavy duty. And then I brought some swaddle blankets. Here's one that we got. And another swaddle blanket then one more and this one feels really nice too so I think that should be enough I don't know I may add a couple more just in case and then I also packed a little burp rag this was handmade so it's very special to us so I wanted to make sure I brought that okay that's it for clothes and blankets the next thing I have is let's see I have wipes right here on the side and then I have some diapers on the other side which the hospital gives you diapers so I really don't need any but I just went ahead and put some in there just just to have and then on the front flap I have some breast pads in case my milk does come in early and then 
hand sanitizer, her pacifier, and I think I only, did I only bring one? Uh -oh. I probably need to bring another one just in case she doesn't like this one. So yeah, I need to make a note of that to add another pacifier in there. And then, y'all, I think that's it for her diaper bag. She really just needs clothes and all that good stuff. Oh, the other thing I have on here is, I've heard this is a necessity to have um, just because nurses will come in and check on you and so it can get noisy um, and just, I don't know, you wanna make it a little bit more soothing in the room. So we actually got this as a gift as well and it's a, it's by the brand Project Nursery and it's just a little portable sound machine. So this will be great to have in the room and then also on the way home. So, anywho, so that's it for her diaper bag. You guys, we're doing good, we're almost done. Um, the last thing I wanted to show y'all was my little postpartum basket. I actually bought this basket from Target this summer. They had it in the dollar section. Um, and I think I paid like, I don't know, $3 for it. It wasn't bad at all. Um, <clears throat> and so I went ahead and stocked it up. So that way, whenever I get home, it's ready to go. I don't have to worry about finding everything. So the first thing I have in here is the Freedom Mom Peri Bottle. I've heard this is a must have because the Peri Bottle that you get from the hospital is it's okay but this one's better because it like it angles down so we'll see how that goes the next thing I have is some dermaplast spray and then I have some lactation cookies and this is um, by the brand liquid IV I don't know if you guys have heard of them but it's supposed to um, like replace your water intake I don't even know how to explain it but it's like you only pour one packet into your bottle and it is supposed to be extra hydrating so I went ahead and um, bought some of these to add to my water because we all know that when you're breastfeeding you need to have as much water intake as you can and stay hydrated um, so yeah so I put that in there some other breast pads I did not do this with my uh, last pregnancy, so I'm eager to see if I like this better, but these are the Depends Women's Diapers. <laughs> so, they're actually kind of cute. They have little flowers on there and they're pink. Um, but I've heard these are so much better because it kind of holds everything in. They're high-waisted. And then um, you can just, you know, put your tux pads and... Okay, so my camera battery died on me. Actually, I don't know if it's the battery or if it's my um, SD card. I think I ran out of room. So, I had to delete something and we're good to go now. Anyways, back to what I, what I, back to what I was sharing with y'all. So, it's supposed to hold everything in. You don't have to worry about putting a pad in. Your tux pads, all that good stuff. You can literally just take it off and chunk it. So, I'm eager to see if I like these better. We shall see. I'll definitely keep you ladies posted on that. Okay. I think that's it. I have my tux pads in the refrigerator. So they're already cold. And I honestly can't think of anything else that I need to pack. So anyways, I guess we're done. Anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, or if you have some other advice on some things that you think I still need to pack, please drop that down below so that way I can be prepared. And yeah, we are almost there. I forgot to mention that I am 37 weeks and we are going to induce on the 24th. So that will be two weeks away. So we are almost there. I'm so excited to have this baby girl. Um, as you can see, I have her little rocking chair behind me, so I'm in her nursery. I would love to do a little nursery um, reveal for you guys, so if you're interested, please like this video and let me know that you would want to see that, and I guess that's it. So anyways, I'll get off here. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!